In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper 3-2 from 2024 of the Cambridge A-Level exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, check out the description below for a link to a playlist. And if you're looking for a different paper entirely, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, we're on YouTube. So take advantage of that. Use the pause, uh, rewind and fast forward uh, buttons. Um, if you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate liking, subscribing or even sharing. Question one starts off with this short and simple question. We know it's short and simple because there's only one mark for it. They ask us to sketch the graph y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2a. So I can just write this, we'll be finished in 30 seconds, but I do want to explain where it comes from because if you're watching this, you probably need a little uh, more help. So how we draw this, um, we first of all, we try and sketch this simpler drawing without the absolute value. So we do that, um, we find the y-intercept, or this is one way to do it, the y-intercept would be minus 2a. So we'll put a, a minus 2a minus 3a, so like minus 2a is here. And then we look at the x, the slope here is 1. So everything, it just goes up 45 degrees. So it'd go up like this, and we'd even know where this hits, because if it's minus 2a here, it'd be 2a here just because of the slope of one. Another way to think of that is if x was zero, y equals minus two. If y is zero, rearrange it, we get x is equal to two a. Either way, this is what they, sorry, sorry, this isn't what they're looking for. This is the, this is a sketch of this here. How do we put in the absolute value? So the absolute, let me change this actually to a dotted line um, like this. So the absolute value then just says we can never become a minus. Anything, whenever this is a minus, we're just gonna make it a plus. So if I put a plus number in here, I leave it alone. Here's a plus number, I leave it alone. So this dotted line can turn back into a straight line. Now these minus numbers though, anytime there's a minus appears in here, it turns into a plus. So if a minus two a, is in here, it's going to just shoot out a plus 2a. So a uh, 2a. So instead of this point, we'd get this point. Same with any point there. At somewhere it's going to hit a here, um, a minus a, instead of minus a, it just becomes a plus a. Either way, it looks like this. It's okay just to remember it um, is symmetrical as well. But uh, either way, this is the, the answer they're looking for. They're looking for a sketch, just a, a shape like a V. They will not take this as an answer, um, even though it's perfectly correct. They do want a few points, okay? They, you wanna put in the most important points. Like, they'll take this as an answer, 2A, 2A, that's it. 10 seconds, if you're able to do that in your head, brilliant. Okay, let me uh, make a little more room for part B. Actually, I'll leave most of this here because I'm gonna use this drawing again. Uh, part B is not a long part question either, there's only two marks for this. There's a, I'm gonna show you two different ways to solve it. Both should be quite straightforward. Uh, the first way is the way I like to think about it. And um, the second way is probably a more maths way and it's uh, just numbers and actually works out a little simpler. But the first way we're gonna use the drawing and we're gonna think about what's happening here. So that's what I'm gonna show you first. Um, so they're asking this is less than this. We can solve this with drawings. And now I'll use this drawing here because this right side, that's here. Uh, if we just draw this left side, we'll actually just put it on over here. And uh, when I say draw the left side, what I mean is think of this uh, equation, y is equal to 2x minus 3a. We're gonna draw that. And just like we did earlier, if x is zero, we get the y-intercept. So y is equal to minus 3a. So it would hit there. When y is zero, we could rearrange this, uh, 3a would come over, divide by two, x would equal three over two. So that's a one a, that's two a, three over two a is one and a half a's. So it would hit somewhere like that. Another way to think of that is, that's the y-intercept and the slope is two. Every time we come one x, it would go up two. Um, sorry, from down here, uh, one x goes up two. 
half an X goes up one, and we get to this point here. Uh, drawing this in looks something like that. Now, a few important things to know here. This is a slope one, this is a slope two. So these will never meet, they diverge. Now we can actually read this first one up here with the drawing quite easily. Um, it's saying, when is this one less than this one? Remember, this one is the, the V shape, and this is the straight line we just drew. When is this below this? So here they are. I'll use both my hands here to do it like that. When is this one below this one? Everywhere left of this line, everywhere left of there, everywhere right of it, it's bigger. So all we need to know is what's this point here or uh, what's the x value at this point. So again, there's a couple of ways we can solve that. Um, one of them is to do what I'll do in a few minutes when I just solve this uh, in one go. Um, but another one is to think of this line, this one here, and this line here. How do we draw this line here? It, I could draw that as this, y is equal Let's see, the y-intercept is 2a plus 2a. And the slope, this is plus one, that slope is minus one, that's minus x. So if you're able to do that, that's one way to do it. That's, uh, that'd be the easier uh, way to think of this. And we just need to find the intercept of these two. If we take these away from each other, uh, y minus y is zero, 2x minus minus that is uh, 3x. Minus 3a minus 2a is minus 5a. Rearrange this, we get 3x is equal 5a, or to write that as x is equal 5 over 3a. And that's this point here, 5 over 3. Remember that's a, 1a, 2a. 5 over 3a is like 1.66. Um, uh, so it's somewhere just here. Um, and that's the answer. The answer is, well, that's nearly the answer. The answer is everything left of this point is when this is less than that. So the real answer is x is less than 5 over 3a. Yeah, less than, not less than or equal to, just less than. And that's the, the full answer for this. I decided to rub everything out to, uh, to show you the other way to do it. So let's start this whole part B again. How are we gonna solve this without any idea of a, a drawing? Um, how I would solve this is I'd split this guy here into two worlds. Because the absolute value is really a, a very separate thing. Uh, it has two distinct parts to it. Uh, one of these parts would be when x minus 2a is bigger than zero. We're gonna, that's gonna be one world. And uh, yeah, let's split it into two worlds there. Another world will be when x minus 2a is less than zero. Now, we, you can think back to the drawing I drew, uh, some, what I'm about to say, but uh, still it should hold true here. Uh, when x minus 2a is bigger than zero, the absolute value would do absolutely nothing. So we'd get um, 2x minus 3a is less than x minus 2a. That's all that would happen. When x um, minus 2a is less than zero, the absolute value does something interesting. So think of it as, imagine if minus three was in here. The absolute value just um, changes the sign. So that's what would happen here um, in this world when it's less than zero. Writing this again, we would get two x minus three a is less than, well, instead of this, we'd have minus x and plus two a because the absolute value would have just changed the sign because we were in uh, this less than zero world. Okay, now solving both of these is relatively straightforward. Um, we just move things over the equals. This x comes over, we get uh, x here. The 3a comes over and uh, we get minus 2a plus 3a. So x is less than a. I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and solving this side, we'd get 3x is less than 5a and that'd be x is less than five over three a. We already see this is the answer. So what's wrong with this? Why is this not the answer? Something's wrong here, and it's something you need to notice. If, you, if you're gonna do it this way, which is probably the fastest way to do it, you do need to be careful of some things. Remember this world here we're in. 
we're in the x minus 2a is bigger than zero world. Another way to write that is, moving this over, is x is bigger than 2a. That's the world we're in. And you've just got an answer saying x is less than a. That can't be both true. It can't be bigger than 2a and less than a. This, we call a maths a, a contradiction. We do this, two arrows pointing at each other. So th this can't be right. That's why we throw that out. Again, this world tells us that x is less than 2a. And we found out, that's just the world. It's not telling us what is actually happening. But the whole world we're looking at, x is less than 2a. And we found out x is less than 5 over 3a. That's 1.3 or so. So this works. This, this is fine. This answer is perfectly valid. So that's the only answer we get out of all this. And it's the, it's the same answer we've seen in the previous part. Or I should say the previous method to doing this question. Okay, that's it for question one. If you have any, um, any follow-on questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.